For a lot of people on Wall Street, bank nationalization is a scary proposition. The fear factor is uh, what would it cost to taxpayers and what would it mean? What does bank nationalization mean? The government would take control of failing banks, putting in money to help get them back into the black. There are more than 8,000 banks in the U.S., and not all of them would be nationalized, just the biggest ones in the most trouble. There are two sides to this coin. It could keep banks open and free up money so they can start lending again, but it could scare off private investors who will see government ownership as a sign of damaged goods. There could be more branch closings, and a government bureaucracy may not offer the best customer service. We face the future with confidence and with courage. During the Great Depression, instead of taking over distressed banks, President Roosevelt chose to prop them up with government funds until the economy recovered. That's what the U.S. has just done in the case of two of this country's biggest banks, Citigroup and Bank of America. Those bailout bucks saved them from the fate of financial giants Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns. But the Fed chairman has made it clear, if some banks are nationalized, it would be temporary. I think there's a very strong commitment on the part of the administration to try to return banks or keep banks private or return them to private hands as quickly as possible. Everyone hopes to avoid what happened to Japan back in the 90s when the government pumped good money into bad banks essentially keeping unhealthy financial institutions that weren't going to make it anyway on life support, crippling the economy. It was called the lost decade. But in Britain, a government takeover of a bank last year helped to temporarily calm fears in the financial markets there. Nationalization may have a psychological impact as well, and Uncle Sam wrapping his arms around failing banks in this country might provide a big dose of confidence for the American consumer.